And I see that you deal with gut issues and digestive disorders and we're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. And I, it's, you hardly run into a person who doesn't have some gut issues. When I lecture, I always say, how many in the room today are bloated? And everybody laughs, and then most of the hands go up. And I don't ask them about constipation, because nobody's put, gonna put their hand up, but I know if they're bloated, they're constipated also. And that cascade, which I wrote about in my book, Toxic, how it ends up in the brain also. Um, making the brain toxic so that the brain actually shrinks. And so now you're messaging. So it's, it's a multifactorial fix, isn't it? It is, absolutely. And there's a, a, a food allergy study that we do on everyone. We don't usually do it when they're first coming to see us because we know they're, you know, endocrine challenged and there's a right. lot of things we're going to have to fix first. But when we do this study, I can't tell you probably 90% of the time or 90% of the foods that we see in the red box, which means you should never, ever eat those foods again, or the things that are in the orange box, which are foods that you should eliminate for at least 90 days and then reintroduce one at a time. 90% of those foods that are in the red box or the orange box are foods that people have been eating their whole life. They love them, some of their favorite foods, and they don't realize that you know, it's really easy to figure out if it's IgA mediated food allergies. Like me, it's with yellow cheeses. I eat them, I love the taste. 30 minutes later, look out, here it comes. Oh, I guess I can't eat yellow cheeses. So, so sorry. Can, yeah. <laughs> but um, the most common way for it to happen is an IgG mediated thing, meaning it's a cellular response, which usually doesn't happen until two or three days after you eat the food. And none of us can figure out that, oh, I feel terrible right now. I'm sluggish and have no energy or I've got brain fog because something I ate two days ago or three days ago. We just can't put that together. So I think it's a study that should be done on every teenager. Uh, I think it should be done again at midlife and it should probably be done as sort of your welcome to Medicare, do it again and just sort of see where you are so that you can avoid these things that are, are just basically tearing up your gut. So that's one of our most important things. You don't leave my office for, on the first visit without a combination prebiotic and probiotic, which we start on everybody. And then we, within that first three month follow-up, we'll address um, the food allergies and then supporting the gut because it is important. What is in the gut is what's in your brain. And neurotransmitters are made in your gut. They go to your brain. So and, and all the inflammation that's forming in your gut is inflammation that's happening in your brain. And, you know, the earliest symptom of Alzheimer's disease is a leaky blood brain barrier, just like people have leaky gut. So if you don't address that issue, you're just, begging for terrible problems down the road. Man, you know your stuff. I, I, as I listen to you, and I, I know you're correct because I've done so much research. When I first was looking into this, I wish so much I could have found a doctor like you. There was nobody 20 years ago. There really I wasn't. I wish you would have found me however many years ago that was. <laughs> it's um, the, the people who will have access to you, all of you who are watching this interview, Listen to what this man is saying. He's absolutely right. Um, he understands the, 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 uh, the, the, the gut-brain connection. He understands the blood barrier connection. He understands how the, the pathway, he understands why your thyroid is acting out or not acting correctly. He understands and what a great advantage, what an incredible advantage to long-term quality of life to find a doctor like Dr. Grubbs.